Hey, it's Allie. Welcome to Little Hill Homestead. So, as you can see, wherever my title is, uh, my husband and I keep doing a nightly drink ever since we made our homemade pineapple juice. We keep mixing ginger ale at night into other juices. So we do apple juice mix-ins or we do pineapple juice, which is probably my favorite. But um, have you seen the price of ginger ale or soda in general lately? It's just like ridiculous. If you don't get it on sale, you're paying like $9 per a 12 pack, which is just dumb. So I decided I'm going to show you guys how we make our own ginger ale. This is like a concentrated version. Um, it's really easy to make and you mix it with club soda when you're ready to drink it. You can do a squeeze of lime. If you want to spike it, by all means, spike it. But um, this is our basic ginger ale concentrate is what I'm going to call it. So the first thing you're going to need for this is ginger. Go figure. Is this not beautiful? Like our Kroger sells like these little knobs of ginger, which are kind of just, you know, sad. But um, I went to Walmart because I was, I heard it's the best price for ginger. And my God, look at this thing. Um, this is more than we're going to use, but that's okay. I just couldn't resist. I love ginger. So the first thing you're going to do is cut up ginger. You need one and a half cups of just fresh ginger. I know some people grate it. I'm lazy. I don't want to do that. So what I typically will do is just take the whole thing and just cut it, cut it into chunks. So ginger cuts really, really easily. Um, if you want to grate it, you can. Um, it gets a little more, I don't like the little grit that it gets and the stringiness that it adds. We're going to strain this anyways, but I find that if you cut it just, this looks like potatoes. Um, I find that if you just cut it like this, super rough, we're going to boil it and it lets out plenty of flavor doing it this way. Plus, I mean, this is way faster than grating it. Let's be real. I love ginger. Um, I want to do some pickled ginger like you get with sushi. Um, it's on my list of things to show you guys how to make. It's really easy and it stores in the refrigerator. Plus, it's delicious, let's be real. But, okay, so this is my one and a half cups of ginger. My hands are clean, I just washed them before we started. Okay, what I cut is about two cups, we're just gonna go with it. So that's like maybe seven ounces of ginger was our one and a half cups. So that's like probably less than $2 worth of ginger. I'm going to spin you guys around and I'm going to show you the next step. Well, actually, let's see if I can just carry you. I don't feel like resetting this up all day today. Oh, yeah. Look, look at Allie's dirty. Uh, we keep our wash rags up on the thing right there. So I have a pot right here. All I'm going to do is turn it on high. I'm going to add our ginger into it. And then to that, I have three cups of just cold water. Is this difficult so far? I don't think so. I think this is pretty easy. Okay, I want to admit what happened. I was getting my measuring cups out of this cabinet right here, and I dropped an entire container, a brand new container of baking soda everywhere. It went into anything in this cabinet. It was all over the counter. I think I missed the floor. Um, luckily, that's kind of an easier one to clean up. It could have been molasses or something, which would have been a nightmare, but Seriously, baking soda, whole bunch. I mean, at least it wasn't the Costco box like I sometimes get, but still annoying. Now, if you still want to make this, but you're like, ooh, this is, can get pretty intense with that much ginger, I'm actually going to add a little more water because I ended up with a little more ginger. But three cups is what you'd normally want. I'm right behind you. We use a Berkey, so I'm getting water from our Berkey. I'm just gonna add one more cup since I had about two cups of ginger. So um, I love ginger ale and I love the taste of like ginger. I could grate it up in lemonade. It's like the best thing to do that. Um, and it's got like immunity boosters and it's great for colds and stuff like that too. But um, my husband likes ginger ale, but not like super strong ginger ale. So, um, but we like this one because you what you can do is this concentrate that we're making, you mix it with club soda, which I will show you guys. But um, if you want it to be less intense, you just add less of the mix. Um, it's pretty sweet, so you can do that. I'm going to show you guys, well, I'm debating if I'm going to show you guys the sugar-free version or the sugared version. They're both delicious. I'm probably going to show you guys the sugar-free version. They're made exactly the same. 
Um, or maybe I'll split it in half when I get to that point and make both. Hmm, I don't know yet. We drink sugar-free, um, but it's just white sugar if you decide. We use Splenda. I know. But we have a pool in our backyard, and at some point I have to wear a bathing suit. <laughs> and when you live places that it's cold, it's really easy to not care during the winter because you're layered anyways. So <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. So anyways, all I'm going to do um, for this is I'm going to let this come to a boil. And as soon as it does, I'm going to turn my heat to like a medium, medium low. I'm going to let it boil away for 45 minutes. And that really is going to infuse that flavor from the ginger into your water. If you notice that you're getting really low on water, one, you can put a lid on it, which is probably what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter if you want your house to smell like ginger, you're set. Um, the other thing is if you start to notice that the water is like too much of it is going away as you're boiling it. Just add a little bit more and top it off. Um, try not to do that. That's why I'm going to pop a lid on. But um, So that's where we are. So as soon as it comes to a boil, turn it to low, pop a lid on it in 45 minutes. There you go. So in 45 minutes, I'll be back to show you the next step. So far, this is quite difficult. No, it's not. It should be easy. But... Um, Oh, let me show you the other cool part. I love when I'm going to make a video anyways, and then the, like, grocery gods throw me a deal. Because look at this. So I needed club soda, right? Club soda. Um, Y'all, this is in the clearance section for 26 cents. Yeah. So this whole batch is going to be dirt cheap, which is awesome. Plus, Maybe I will make that pickled ginger stuff like the sushi people have. Look at all that I have left. But anyways, okay, so back to real life, what you're here for is I'm going to, um, this is getting close to boiling. So I'm going to pop a lid on it, turn it to low, and then I'll see you guys in 45 minutes. How much I want to bet my clicker is not going to work because it never seems to. Our ginger has been steeping now for 20 minutes. I apologize. I know my volume changed. My microphone died because I forgot to be charging it in the middle of the 20 minute wait. All I'm going to do now is take our ginger and our water and I have a, I have an eight cup measuring cup and a strainer just sitting on top of it. You can use a colander too because it's such big chunks. It doesn't matter. You don't need it as fine because it's going to catch all of it. But those look like potatoes. <laughs> Makes me laugh. So you can run this, you can run water through your ginger twice. So what I typically will do is save my ginger and run it through one more time. Why not get double for it, right? So what I'm gonna do is as soon as I finish this batch, I'm gonna make a second one using the same ginger. And I'm gonna do um, a diet version for you guys. Well, not for you guys, but I'll do a diet version doing the same thing. So I'm going to take our ginger water and put it back on the stove. And then, like I said, I'm going to save this just to the side. Excuse me for pushing the buttons. It's telling me my battery is about to die and it drives me crazy. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to turn my burner back on high. We are going to add half of a cup of sugar to our ginger water. Like I said, if you're going to, I'm going to do a diet version um, after this. I won't film it because it's the same process. But instead of a half of a cup, you would add 15 Splenda packets. Sounds like a lot, but I promise you it's delicious. Um, you're also going to add just a pinch of salt. The sugar sweet thing is awesome together. 
And then you're just gonna stir it until your sugar dissolves fully. Your water's still kind of warm, it's just not hot, hot. So I go ahead and turn the burner on just to get it moving again. I'm doing a filming day. I do those often. I try to get a bunch of stuff done in one day. Um, and my dishes start to accumulate over here. <laughs> okay, my sugar has now dissolved, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat off. And then I'm gonna get a hot pad. I'm gonna spin this around and I'm gonna set it on the island over here. I'm gonna bring you guys back over here. Excuse my chair moving. We have metal chairs and they're like the best tripods ever. So um, to make our ginger ale, you guys ready? Because it's good. You're gonna use a fourth of a cup of the mix we just made. I usually start in the mason jar in the fridge, um, but I wanted to show you guys how to make it, so here you go. Okay, so there's a fourth a cup of that. I'm gonna get a cup of ice. Well, let's do a big guy. here and what I'm gonna do is pour our uh, fourth of a cup of our ginger mix over it. Remember that was hot that's why I'm putting a lot of ice. I also usually would keep my club soda in the refrigerator but I'm a loser and I forgot to do so. So <laughs> I'm running all over the place I forgot a spoon too. Let's just pray that I don't spill this everywhere it doesn't like go crazy. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We made it, y'all. All right, so you're just gonna top this off with your club soda. Or any seltzer water, it's fine too. And you're gonna give it a little stir to get your ginger and your club soda all mixed together. Now, if you wanna add lime to it, you totally can, it's delicious with a splash of lime. Otherwise, you have homemade ginger ale. If you want it sweeter, just add a little more of your syrup. Um, this is a little bit bigger glass, so I'm actually gonna just splash it with a little bit more to get it pretty strong. Let me get my little cup back out of the sink. To me, it's a little club soda-y, so I'm actually just gonna add a couple more. Yeah, a couple more tablespoons will do. Usually I do it in a shorter glass, but I got a little excited about a big old glass today. That's it, it's delicious. That's more like it. Yeah. yeah, it's good. If you guys like ginger, you can kind of feel like the ginger burn in your throat just a little bit. Um, if you like ginger, this is super good mixed with some lemon juice to make like a ginger lemonade. Like I was saying, my husband and I mix it with pineapple juice and we do that at night. Um, once this is cold, it's better than it is over ice because it does dilute it quite a bit, but it it's fine. But this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, like I said, a mason jar and I keep our um, concentrate in a mason jar in the refrigerator along with the club soda. And then when I go to pour it, I do a fourth of a cup of my concentrate in a little bit smaller glass than this big bad boy um, with some club soda. And then I would just top it with a couple ice cubes instead of having an entire glass of ice because like I said, it dilutes it. But if you guys want to try it, I'm going to have the recipe below. It's like lightly sweet, super gingery, but not like overly gingery. It's just like a nice subtle ginger. And the club soda has the bubbliness that you're used to with ginger ale. So I hope you guys give it a try. It's delicious and you guys are going to enjoy it. So go make some mocktails or cocktails or whatever you choose to do with it. And like I said, if you want to do the diet version, you just do the 15 Splenda packets instead. That's what I'm going to go do right now. And uh, enjoy.